Hi, my name's Tom, I'm an edit assistant and a graphic designer, and I'm now going to show you how to change hair colour using Adobe Photoshop. Okay, here's an example that I made previously. It's a picture of this girl. She originally had blonde hair, as we can see. And I've added a mask and then played around with the saturations of the hair colour. So it gives you this sort of purpley, pinky effect. So I'm just going to remove that layer so I can show you how, to, how it all works. So first of all, we want to make a mask of her hair. Now, hair is kind of quite a difficult one to, to mask out because there's so many strands. If we zoom in using Apple or Control if you're on a PC, using the plus or minus symbols, as you can see in this image, her hair is fairly neat and quite easy to mask out, which is why I've chosen this particular image. What we now need to do is create a mask of her hair so we can start messing around with the colours. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter quick mask mode by pressing Q on your keyboard. Over on this side here you can see that we've entered the quick mask mode. So using the brush tool over here on the left hand side, or B as the shortcut on your keyboard. We can now change the size of the brush to start painting out the areas of which we want to make the mask for. So I'm going to use quite a large brush so I can do, the, do this quite quickly. So that's the hardness. So I'm going to use quite a large brush so I can do this process quite quickly for the benefit of the tutorial. So now all you need to do is just start painting. Now, don't worry, the red isn't how the picture is going to finally look. You're just selecting out the area of which you wish to mask. She's just going to go around and very quickly paint out her hair. Now, you can choose to use smaller brushes for slightly more fiddly areas, so the part of her fringe there is slightly more difficult to get to. Again, you guys will have a lot more time than I have right now, so you can go through and paint out every single little hair if that's what you choose to do. So again, just increasing the brush size. Just gonna just paint out the hair area on her face, on her head. So as you can see, I'm using the hand tool, which is spacebar on your keyboard to move the image around, so it's easier for you to manipulate. And like I said before, if you spend time on making sure you've masked out all the hair properly, you'll get a better result. So if you have made a slight mistake, so you accidentally paint on her face like that, you can use the Erase tool, which is on the far left here, on the tool palette, or E, the shortcut on the keyboard, and you can just erase the errors. So obviously we don't want to mask out her face, we just want her hair. So then you can go around and mask out areas of the hair that you might have got slightly wrong. I'm just going to try and get most of this out. So like I said before, the longer you spend on it, the better the effect will be. So there's a really rough selection of her hair. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to make a brand new layer of her hair. So we want to exit. So we want to exit quick mask mode, which is the same as entering by pressing Q. And now you can see we've got a selection of the hair, which is what I painted around just earlier. Now we don't want the background; we just want the selection of the hair. 
So to invert the selection, if you hold down Apple or Control on your PC, hold Shift and press I, that will now just select the inside of our selection. Now we're going to make a new layer, so a new just so now we're going to make a new layer containing just her hair. Shortcut for that, quickest way, is to hold down Apple or Control from the PC and press J. So if I now, so now that we have her hair selected to create the most authentic looking hair color change, we're going to go to Layer, New Fill Layer, Solid Color, and this brings up this new option here. We're now going to set the mode to soft light, and you'll see why in a second. So we hit OK. So now we can change the color of her hair. I'm just going to chuck in a very basic pink for now, or purple, purpley pink. So you've got a slight change there already. You can go in by double clicking on the layer here and change it slightly darker if you wish. Or if you want to go for a slightly crazier colour, by all means, it's all up for your own interpretation. So now we've got this basic tinge to our hair. So if you want to make it a little bit darker, which I do in this case, I'm going to rasterize this layer shape here because we can't get to our adjustment menus here. So to rasterize the image, you right click on the correct layer hit rasterize layer. So that's now flattened it out for us. So obviously by going via image and adjustments, color balance, you can change the cat, you can change the color to your heart's desire. Whatever you may choose or whatever new look you'd like that day. That's how you change hair color using Adobe Photoshop.